A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video you will learn how to upload and display images in Oracle Apex. This page contains a list of application users along with their images. It is an interactive report page. To upload an image, we make use of a form page that is associated with the interactive report page. After adding details of a user, you click the folder icon and select image of that user from your computer. When you save this record the image and other user information is added to a table named Demo Users. This remove image button is used to remove an image. I will walk you through to create this table and the two pages interactively using Oracle Apex built-in wizard. Let's begin by creating the backend objects. Click the SQL Workshop menu and select SQL Scripts. Click the Upload button and choose db.sql file. The link for this file and other objects used in this tutorial is provided in the description below. After uploading, click the Run icon next to this script file. The script will create the Demo Users table, a primary key constraint on User ID column, a sequence to auto-generate User IDs, and a corresponding trigger to evaluate new IDs for new users. Go to Object Browser to view this table. Besides number and varchar two column types, this table is using the blob type for the user image column, which is an Oracle data type that can hold up to 4 GB of data. Blobs are handy for storing digitized information, such as images, audio, and video. We'll use it to store images of users. This type can also be used to store document files like PDF, MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and CSV to name a few. This is the trigger that will get user ID for a new user from the sequence object. This is the sequence that auto-generates the user ID primary key. Now that we have all backend objects in place, let's move on and create the two pages to learn how images are handled in Oracle Apex. Click the Create Page button to initiate Oracle Apex Page Creation Wizard. Click the Interactive Report option. In the Page Definition section, provide number and name for the interactive report page. Turn on the Include Form Page option. Enter page number and name for the form page. Note that the form page mode is set to modal dialog, which will display this page on top of the report page. These two selections will create a report page to display a list of all users from the Demo Users table and a form page to add, modify, and delete users. In the Data Source section, select Table for Source Type, accept the default schema in Table View, Owner, and select the Demo Users table for Table View Name. For primary key, select the user ID column. Click the create button to complete the page creation process. The report page will be shown in page designer. Run this page. 
Click Create to add first user record. Enter Cassandra for username. Click the tiny folder icon and select image of this user from the downloaded file. Click the Create button to save this record. Cassandra's record will be stored in the demo users table along with her image. The report page will display Cassandra's record, but as you can see there is no image on the screen. Let's tweak a property in Page Designer to display the image. If you look at the report query, you see that the user image column is wrapped inside a function named getLength. The getLength function of the DBMS lob package is used to estimate the size of a blob column in the table. The selection of the blob size is made to facilitate the inclusion of a download link in a report. If the length is zero, the blob is null and no download link is displayed. Expand the columns node, and click on user image column. Change the type of this column from download blob to display image. Save the page and run it again. Now Cassandra's image appears on the report page. Click the edit link. The form page pops up, but it also doesn't display Cassandra's image. Let's modify this page as well to display her image. Set width and height of this modal page. To show the image of selected user on the user details page, we will create a static content subregion. Note that here we are creating just a blank region to hold an image. The image will be added to this region subsequently. This region will be displayed only when an image exists for a user, and this evaluation is made using a server-side condition based on a PL SQL function. Click the user details region and turn off the start new row property to place this region beside the user image region you just added. Next, create a new page item under the user image region to display images of users. Now add the remove image button. An image can be removed from the user details page and consequently from the underlying table by clicking this button. It is attached to a process named delete image, which is defined next. The target value calls a confirmation box. This call is made using an Oracle Apex function called Apex.confirm by passing a message and the name of the delete button. 
If you click yes in the confirmation box, the process associated with the delete button removes image references from the user's table. Finally, create a process that handles image deletion. It is associated with the delete button to remove a user's image. To remove an image stored in a database table, you are required to just replace the content of the relevant column with a null. Place this process before the close dialog process. Save and run the page. Create new users and select their pictures from the downloaded folder. As you save a user record, you see the image of that user on the reports page. Modify a user's record and see the image on the form page. Try to remove an image and save that record. Modify it again and note that the remove image button is vanished as well. This is due to the server side condition we set for the user image region. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video in which you learned how to handle images in Oracle Apex. Please subscribe to Tech Mining to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching.